Hello, old friends and new. I've got another Renoise tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be talking about side chaining, or my own little janky way of doing it. This isn't the official way of doing side chaining in Renoise. I don't actually know what that is because I've never really needed to. I get all the control I need using this method. Super quick, super simple. Let's go. So just start with anything we want to side chain. Let's just go with some random chord. Sounds great. And we want it to be side chained by a kick. So when we have them playing together, just one over the other, it's not side chaining, obviously. So what we want here is a compressor. Anyone will do, but I like the stock one. And on this track, what we want is called the signal follower. Now we take it here, and you might notice, I swear I did this on purpose, we're not allowed to take it over to a track to the left. Signal follower only works on tracks that are to the right. I don't know why, it just is that way. But not a big deal, we can just move it on over. So our kick is now on the left, our chord is on the right. Let's take the signal follower, set it destination track two, select the compressor, the threshold, and by default, it's doing the opposite of what we want to do. It's only bringing the volume up when the kick plays. Fixing it is as simple as changing the minimum and maximum. And there you go. You can adjust more with the sensitivity over here. Lowering it will make the effect more dramatic. Raising it will uh, make it more subtle. The attack also does some stuff. The release does some stuff. As simple as that. Just play around with it. Uh, super easy. That's really all I got for you today.